What's going on my dudes, One Step here, the ultimate beginner's guide to Noob Saibot in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play him, the best strategies you need to be aware of, and of course, some fun and easy combos to get you started today. As we get on in there, my dudes, go ahead and pause your screens right here, because this is going to be the universal language that we're using, so that anybody who's watching on any console or whatever can understand what we're saying. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content, and let's talk about Noob Saibot. One of the coolest and probably one of the most complex characters in the game. He's got a lot going on, but damn, he looks good doing it, dude. Let's talk about his normals and his strings, and what you want to be using. His forward one two is a great mid starter. That is a double mid as well, mid mid. And of course that can go into combos and or cameos like this. You can do special moves after it. It is a great interrupter, a great punisher, great move overall. At that mid range, you do have that forward one two. Got back forward four for a low. It is a nice sweep. Even though we're talking about mid screen right now, even from full screen, you got back forward three to grab them. Now if you're close enough, you can combo off of that without enhancing it. And if you want to be mid-range and or far away, you can zone with down back two. It's not really a zone, but you know, put more pressure on the field. You can always jump in with a dive kick down back four. If you enhance that dive kick, it's actually a combo extender as well. If you're at close range, the 2-1-2 combo is a great starter, interrupter, and punisher. That also goes into a low, because that last two is a low. So we can catch them off guard that way, because it doesn't really look like a low. And that can be canceled into special moves, obviously. Or you can cancel that into cameos. If you don't want to go 2 1 2, go 2 1 4 for the overhead mix instead. It's also a pop up where you can teleport after that. So that's a great mix right there. Do you do 2 1 2 for the low or do you do 2 1 4 for the overhead pop up? Both can go into combos, both can go into specials. Great mix up right there. Now, speaking of mix, what does Noob Saba have? Well, first of all, he's got a lot of mix. We got good lows and overheads. So, what options do you want to go for? Well, again, we got 2 1 2 for the low, 2 1 4 for the overhead pop up. We got 4 4 3 that is an overhead pop up as well. And again, you can cameo or teleport like this. Back four is your sweep is a great sweep and a great combo ender as well. 120 damage by the sweep alone. It's pretty good. Back three three is also a low starter, low mid. They can be canceled into cameos and specials. You can go low, low overhead mix. Four three is a great overhead ender. But in my opinion, your better options are of course two one four. Two is your fastest normal. Two, very fast by itself, goes into two one two or two one four. Again, a fast interruption, a fast punisher. They can lead into mix. That's awesome. Speaking of two one four, you do in the corner, you can combo off of it anyways without having to do the teleport or use a cameo right afterward, like this. Now, when it comes to wake up attacks, your best option is going to be down back four and hands to sweep. The good low, so it's a wake up mix as well. Not only that, but it has armor, so it looks like this. Or you can wake up teleport. And that's only really good because it's super fast. And it catches them off guard more than most times. And it's full screen as well. It's like, yeah, if they push you away on wake up or anything like that, you have a way to automatically get in close. Now, if blocked, you're punishable, but it's a good option when the time calls for it. Now, let's talk about certain strategies and things you might use when you're playing Noob Saibot. Let's talk about with cameos first. Well, with cameos, you can go for mix up, like if you had Scorpion, you can combo off of strings like a 2 1 4, do up Scorpion. Stuff like that. You have ways to combo off of certain strings like 2 1 4 or 4 4 3, even. Mavado has a cameo, does the same thing as well. But an amazing cameo that Noob Saibot has that others and myself have found is Sub Zero. And the big reason why Noob Saibot by himself and he enhances down forward one, which by itself is this projectile that if you do it again while they're kind of uh, glowing green like this, you'll pop them up, which is great to do in like the middle of combos and stuff. But if you enhance it, uh, Saibot himself, the clone, will hold it, release it. We can release that early by pressing down stand switch or down L2. You enhance it, the clone's holding it, press down L2, he'll throw it. But when might you have time to do that? Well, when your opponent's frozen by using Sub Zero Cameo. While they're frozen, and enhance down forward one, start a combo, and you can get some crazy damage. And it looks like this. I mean, 44% off of one bar and one cameo. You can even go further than that and do more, allowing you to set up and either do down forward one enhance or even get your chance to do embrace chaos. embrace chaos without the fear of being punished like that. Sub-Zero offers both those things and Noob Saibot benefits off both those really heavily. Sub-Zero is a great cameo for that reason. You get that parry move. You can become projectile and vulnerable to then zone out your opponent, apply pressure that way. Noob Saibot can't really zone by himself. So you want to be able to get in close without having any worries. If you're fighting like a Quan or a Liu Kang or a Shang Tsung. Throwing the ice armor on is just like a big negate to your opponent, allowing you to get in close and do your thing. 
Now, without a cameo, what do you want to be doing when you don't have a cameo available? Uh, again, he's a really in your face kind of character, a good interrupter, a good punisher. 212, 214. They're fast, they're easy, they're good interrupters. Go for those a lot of the time for either punishing your opponent, interrupting their string, stuff like that. If you're punishing a very unsafe, they have 4 4 is a great option, but it's also an overhead, so it can be used for mix. You want to be in close, you want to be doing the damage. Noob Saiba already has mix by himself. He's not really using a cameo for the extra mix where some characters might be using cameos for that reason. Noob Saiba doesn't really care about that because he's already got the mix. He's already got the damage. You want utility. Now you heard me mention Embrace Chaos. This is, you know, forward, down, back, one move. What is this? Well, from this point on, all of our normal specials, like a back, forward, four, unenhanced, become a launcher. As you see, our opponent's falling, allowing us to continue combo off of it like this. You're like, wait, we can do that with no meter, nothing? Yeah, all of your special moves do that. Even your throw becomes a free launcher for you. While Embrace Chaos throws, boom, free combo, baby. That's crazy. Now, with that being said, that does go away. So if we don't have Embrace Chaos and we used it, your clone, Cybot, he's gone. He's gone for the entire round, like the rest of the round you use it. If you use it on round one and you go to round two, you can't use that move anymore. Clone does come back, yes, in round two, but you cannot use the uh, Embrace Chaos move again. So this is a once a game move. Once you use it, you lose it. But why does that matter? It's because as you might notice, a lot of our strings, two, one, two, Cybot, the clone, comes out and attacks with us in the strings but if you don't have the clone so if we have embrace chaos and we just let it go away we've used it we still haven't won yet so embrace chaos is done it's gone i can't do two one two no more the clone won't come out all your strings and specials that require the clone you can't do you can do your specials uh but you're gonna do them yourself rather than send the clone out as like a sort of a projectile it's a bit more risky now don't think of embrace chaos as like doing a ton of damage like you can do good damage but this isn't really a damage buff this is a utility buff this is a meter buff because you're getting meterless pop-ups off of your specials it is a really strong comeback tool allowing you to take rounds and just be aggressive while you got it because if you got it why would you want to sit back and just like wait for your opponent to come to you. You have meat of those pop-ups. You want to go there and use them. But again, as soon as it's gone, uh, you're playing at a major disadvantage. And yeah, in this mode, you can use multiple specials in a row and they'll all still launch like this. So when would you use this? I, I would personally use this. Well, first, if your opponent doesn't have a ton of meter, they got the meter. They're going to break her out of any combo you start, putting you almost at full screen. They're going to handle the neutral a lot better, maybe. That's just too risky. I would use it when they have a bar or two, and you can do a couple combos and take that round back without worrying that they're going to break her the entire time. And because you can only do so much, I'd recommend doing it when they're below 50% probably. With all those launchers, you can pretty much do 40 to 50% combos, whether it be one or two to take them out. But if you do beforehand and you don't land those combos and it ends before the round's over, again, you're playing at a pretty big disadvantage. Now, some tips and tricks and notes regarding Noob Saibot you need to know about as you start to learn him. We did the whole Embrace Chaos. You understand that now the clone goes away. All of our specials are pop-ups. Our grab is even a pop-up. But you also get certain strings while you're in this mode of Embrace Chaos, like forward one, three, two. This string right there is only available in Embrace Chaos. You can do forward one, three, two, two. I mean, that's a string that does 180 damage. It's pretty good. Like I mentioned during Embrace Chaos, if you don't have the clone available, you will do the special move yourself. Because normally we'll do a special move back forward four and the clone will actually do the slide for us. So you see here, we're kind of emanating a shadow kind of look to Noob Saibot. We throw the clone, uh, we are no longer doing that. <laughs> Now the clone is back. What I'm getting at is the clone goes away for a brief moment. If you do the slide and the clone's gone, you can't do those strings that use the clone for that brief moment. And you can't do the specials with the clone. You can't do like this slide and then just do it again. You can, but you'll do it yourself. So for an example, if I do the enhanced dive kick in the air, my clone's gone. I can't do the two one two combo immediately. So instead I gotta figure out, okay, what's, what's, what strings I can do by myself without that clone or until the clone comes back. So in this case, four four, right? You do a dive kick and then four four, maybe teleport from there. You just gotta figure out what combos you can do after certain special moves. If the clone is gone for that brief moment, you gotta figure out how do I continue this without using a string that requires the clone to be there because they're not gonna be there for another second or two. There's a big note for you, big tip. Also, Noob Saibot's grab can actually add an extra hit. It's very weird, but when you do the normal grab, his back grab, uh, he does 110 damage normally. The clone throws him, you're done. If you press L1 at the right time during that grab animation, basically right when the clone grabs the opponent and gets ready to throw them, you press L1 right there, he'll do an extra hit like this. 
and then it does 120 damage and you're closer as you see right here on wake up allowing for better meaties better pressure on wake up stuff like that you gotta time it just right kind of cool noob cybot has definitely got one of the best uppercuts in the game look at this thing the clone just goes full streak or at least it feels like it it's also a really good anti-air obviously not everyone's uppercut goes that high noobs does also, his standing three is a great anti-air as well. If you time it right, you can do a combo after that. Speaking of timing it right, you can actually combo up to your back four three as well, like I said earlier. Really tight, but it looks like this. Noob's got a lot going on for him. There's some tips, there's some tricks, there's some strategies with and without cameos. Let's talk about his combos themselves and the aerial combos you want to be using a lot. Well, as you see right here, we got uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, four, four. I'll tell you right now, there is no difference. I'm pretty positive this is a misclick because there is quite data wise, damage wise, uh, where they land wise, uh, there, there is no difference in these strings. I find myself just doing one, two, four, four most often, like, okay. And then two, three, four is your bouncer. And then two, three, four is your bouncing combo, like this in the air. Either of those can go into your enhanced teleport and enhanced teleport does go into fatal blow. You can do a lot off of those two strings. Basically think about it as like you have aerial combo extension with one, two, four, four, or you can bounce them with two, three, four and continue the ground combo. However you wanna play in the moment, those are your two options. Now let's talk about cameo recommendations. First and foremost, cameos like Scorpion that allow you for aerial combo extension. And then of course, combo off of strings like two, one, four. Now you don't really need the mix, but Scorpion offers more mix. You can do two, four. That's also a sweep. If you hit confirm that, you can go into the Scorpion Fire Breath for aerial combo extension like this. Or you can fake him out and then do two, then press four to cam and do an overhead instead of the low like this. So again, you don't really need the mix, but Scorpion offers it. Scorpion is also one of the very few cameras that allow you to combo off of your teleport without enhancing it like this. And being able to combo off that teleport leads to crazy aerial combos. Scorpion continues it and you just do it again. Same exact thing from Movado. I want to combo off of my strings like this. And I want to combo off my teleport like this. You can do some really nasty stuff with Movado, dude. For the same exact reasons, there's also Janet Cage. Combo off strings and that teleport like this. Or just right off the teleport like this. And honestly, believe it or not, Jax can do the same thing. Combo off of strings. Both of your pop-up ones, which is great. Jax has that unblockable move, obviously. Making your opponent jump, and you love your air combos. Them jumping's fine with you, or they get hit. All those cameos offer great utility, combo extension, but I think that Sub-Zero might be one of his best ones. You get that utility by being projectile and vulnerable. We get a sick parry, and then freezing your opponent and then enhancing you down forward one, continue the combo, <laughs> makes for some insane damage and fun combos to pull off. I love that utility. Noob Cybot kind of needs it. You can actually freeze him and then do Embrace Chaos, do combos from there. Sub-Zero Cameo allows you to be super aggressive, allows you to get things off without having the pressure of being punished. A lot of really cool stuff. And this combo is just so much fun. That is just so satisfying, man. Now, without further ado, what you came here for, let's go ahead and go over some fun and easy combos that you can use today with Noob Saibot, both with and without cameos. First, without. Let's do combos with some cameos.
Now, what about some embrace chaos combos for those very rare occasions? Well, here's a couple. All those combos with and without cameos and with Embrace Chaos should be enough to get you started and learn how Noob Saibot actually works and where his combos want to go. With all that being said, my dudes, let me know your thoughts down below on Noob Saibot as a character. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you like his gimmicks? Who's your favorite cameo to use with him? Let me know all your thoughts down below. If you found this video entertaining and or informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.